If you have swelling from lymphedema in your legs, this video is for you. I'm going to show you a gentle seated exercise routine that will help you move that lymphatic fluid and manage the lymphedema in your legs. I'm Dr. Alex Hill, your physical therapist for everything oncology and pelvic health. Let's get moving. The lymphatic system relies on you moving your muscles to get that lymph fluid moving. As muscles pump, this helps to move the lymph. That's why it's so important for you to be active and move if you have lymphedema. If you want to learn more about lymphedema, watch my recent video about the lymphatic system and why lymphedema develops. If you have lymphedema, it's important to exercise with compression on, whether that be from the compression wrapping that you're using or your compression garments. The compression works with the muscles pumping to move the fluid even better. The exercise we're going through today should be done at least twice a day, but if you're in the intensive phase of lymphedema treatment and you're working on reducing the swelling to get that leg smaller, doing these exercises more often, even up to four or five times a day, can be helpful. Stop if anything hurts, if you get out of breath, if you get dizzy, or if you have any unusual symptoms. Also check with your medical provider first before you start any new exercise routine. All you need for this exercise routine today is something to sit on. All of the movements should be slow and controlled, so don't rush these. Okay, enough talking, let's get moving. The first exercise that we're going to do is diaphragmatic breathing. This stimulates the thoracic duct, which is the largest lymph vessel in the body, goes right through the diaphragm, and this moves about 75% of the lymph fluid in your body. So in your chair, your seated position, you're going to just relax, have your hands on your abdomen, right near your belly button. As you breathe in, you wanna feel your belly and your chest and ribs expand, and then exhale through the mouth. As you breathe in, Give just a little bit of resistance, and as you exhale, give a little bit of pressure down into your belly. Breathe in, and breathe out. A little bit of pressure as you breathe out. Very good. Let's do that a couple more times. As you're doing this, if you start to get dizzy, short of breath, something doesn't feel right, go ahead and stop. Otherwise, we'll do a couple more. In through the nose, out through the mouth, a little bit of pressure into the abdomen. Breathe in and breathe out. Excellent job. Next up, we're going to work a little bit more on the trunk lymphatics. All right, we're going to breathe in as you lift your arms up and out into a Y. Exhale as you come down to the ground. Breathe in, arms out into a Y. Exhale on the way down. As you do these movements, if you get dizzy, if you have back pain, if you have neck pain, you don't need to go all the way through the full movement, okay? So I'm going to show a modified movement next if you have any of those issues. So you're still going to breathe in, but you're just breathing in and moving a little bit back and then coming forward. Breathe in and exhale, breathe out. All right. In total, you want to do this movement 10 times. All right, let's do one more. <sighs> Wonderful job. Next, we're still going to work on those central lymphatic vessels, but now we're going to move side to side. So you're going to breathe in, exhale, <sighs> bring your arm over to the side, breathe in, Breathe out as you bring your other arm overhead. You're gonna to go to the opposite side. Let's do that a couple more times. Breathe in, breathe out as you go to the other side. Very good. Breathe in, breathe 
these out as you go to the other side. Now, if that feels comfortable for you, keep going. If this is uncomfortable for you, I'm going to show you another modification that you can do. So again, instead of going the full range, what you're going to do is a smaller range. So you're just going to just come a little bit to the side and then up. Go a little bit to the other side and then back up. This way you're still getting the movement that you need, but you're not doing it in a way that's painful. Okay, work on your own level. Again, with these movements, we're gonna be doing 10. So let's do one more all the way over, back up, and then all the way to the other side. Very good. All right, time to move down to those legs. So we're basically going to be working our way down the legs, working each joint from our hips all the way down to our toes. So first we're going to slowly march. So you wanna sit up nice and tall. If you need some support, go ahead, use the back support that you're sitting on. We're going to do 10 marches on each leg. Lift them nice and high, and we want slow, gentle movements. We're not running here, we are marching. All right, let's do a couple more of those. Nice and easy, we're just getting those hips moving. Wonderful job. Again, if this is uncomfortable, do smaller range. You don't have to go all the way up, okay? Wonderful job. All right, we've got the hips. Now we're gonna move to the knees, so we're gonna do kickouts. You can either do one leg at a time, like this, or you can do both at the same time, okay? I'm just gonna do one at a time just to show you. So you're gonna kick out, and then come back. All right, very good. Just like with all the other exercises that we're doing, if you feel like kicking out is challenging or difficult, you don't have to kick your leg all the way out. Just go to what's comfortable for you. The biggest thing with these movements, again, we wanna do slow, gentle movements. We're just stimulating that lymphatic system. Very good, let's do one more on each side. Next, we're gonna be doing heel slides. So you're gonna have your leg extended out and you're gonna bring it all the way up underneath you, almost like you're trying to kick your bottom, okay? We're gonna do that 10 times on each leg, okay? Same thing, just like with all the other movements, if this is uncomfortable to get your knee all the way back, that's okay. Just go to the movement and the range that's comfortable for you, okay? Let's do a couple more of those. Excellent job. We'll do one more on this side. And then we're gonna switch sides, all right? We're gonna go ahead, do the other side, bring that all the way in, all the way out. Bring it all the way under your bottom, and then back out. Very good. Now, you see I'm doing this in sneakers. Please feel free to do this in socks or bare feet if that's appropriate, if you're at home and not, not out in public because with lymphedema, we wanna make sure we avoid any kind of infection. So you can do this however feels comfortable for you. Okay, let's do a couple more on this side. Now, after we work the knees, we've got the ankles, okay? So for the ankles, we are gonna do some ankle pumps. Now, with your ankle pumps, I want you to make sure that you are fully pointing your foot and bringing it back up. None of this little tiny movements, okay? Point your toes like you're hitting that gas pedal and then bring it all the way up. Point and then back up, okay? So I'm showing it with my leg elevated for you to see. Certainly with these leg exercises, if you can keep your legs elevated, that's great. That's going to help with getting the fluid back because we have gravity helping us. But if you're just doing it seated, say you're on the plane or at work, you can do them like this, both at the same time. And you see again, we want nice slow movement all the way up, all the way down. Very good. Okay, now that we've got the ankles worked, we've got one last place, we've got our toes to work on. For the last exercise, we're going to do toe scrunches. So 
what you can do is fold up a blanket or a sheet or a towel and you're just scrunching your toes on whatever you're using, okay? Now, if you don't have anything handy, that's okay. You can still just scrunch your toes, okay? Now with these, again, just like with all of our other movements, we wanna make sure that we are moving them nice and slow and in that full range. And again, both sides for their legs. All right, excellent job. I hope that you found this routine helpful with managing your leg swelling from lymphedema. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything else for lymphedema tips.